I can't help it but feel bad for Ryan Priest for yesterday at Martinsville. You know, with the deal of Ryan Priest is, you got to look back over the last few years of his NASCAR career. He grew up, you know, coming up through the ranks of modified racing up in New England. And he, be- he became really great at that. A constant threat to win if you put him inside a NASCAR modified. But he used that to go up and get some opportunities in the NASCAR Xfinity Series, particularly with Joe Gibbs Racing. And he actually was able to win a couple of races. Then after that success, some might have felt like he jumped on the first Cup Series opportunity that came to him, and that was with JTG Daugherty Racing. He had a few years to be with them, and ultimately it didn't go too well. But to be fair, it was JTG Daugherty Racing, and they weren't really in the best place back then. They ultimately let him go and went down to just one car for Ricky Stenhouse Jr., and that kind of helped the team a little bit. They certainly did get a little bit better results with just one car again, and ultimately won a Daytona 500 this year. But as for as for uh, Ryan Priest, the situation that put him in, well, he kind of didn't have anywhere to be then. And what he ended up doing was kind of just take the few small opportunities he got, and he kind of went an Alex Bowman-esque route, if you will, because he signed on as a developmental driver and uh, th- in that kind of capacity with Stuart Haas Racing and had opportunities to drive for Rick Ware Racing every now and again. Um, he ran with David Gillen Racing in the 17, but when they were with Ford and, you know, just took every little opportunity he could get. He actually won two races for the NASCAR Truck Series at Nashville Super Speedway and contended for some other wins over the Truck Series as well. So, so far, since the NASCAR has come back to Nashville Super Speedway, he is the only person to get a Truck Series victory uh, since the return. So, he's got two guitars that have come from Nashville Super Speedway now at this point in his NASCAR Truck Series career. But now, this year, he signed on to the 41 team uh, as Cole Custer was moved back down to the Xfinity Series. Ryan Priest was given the opportunity in that 41 car. And yesterday... I think he proved exactly why he was brought into that uh, car. He went out and didn't practice the greatest, but he got the pole. And in a race where it seemed like track position was going to be very key, he dominated the race. Ultimately, I think the only reason he lost that race was his speeding penalty. He carried himself through the race for the majority of it in good capacity. And, you know, yes, this is the guy who just last week, was getting memed on a little bit for, you know, his, uh, his contact with Kyle Larson and et cetera, et cetera, you know, the, the don't do that. Don't do that. Well, in this case, uh, it was you know, do that as, uh, Denny delivers put in his little, uh, funny little recap video he likes to do. And, uh, you know, but Ryan Priest, you know, he proved that I think he's exactly where he needs to be right now. He's going to get more opportunities this year. I do believe. I don't think he'll make that same mistake twice. We put him at a track he's comfortable at, you know, Nashville Super Speedway, uh, New Hampshire Motor Speedway even. It's going to be very similar to Martinsville, I'd imagine. You know, it's a very flat track, you know, braking, maybe at Gateway, he might do well there. So I'm anxious to see what happens with Ryan Priest as the season goes on. I think he could actually still contend for a win this year. So Ryan Priest, uh, while he come up short yesterday, uh, I think a lot of NASCAR fans can be very proud of that run he had. And it's good to see guys that come from his background, you know, just, you know, biding their time and to get every opportunity they can and capitalizing on those opportunities. And while it would have been great to be talking about a Ryan Priest first win today, we are talking about Kyle Larson, you know, one of Tony Stewart's, you know, favorite drivers. It's a, you know, everyone knows why he's not driving for SHR really and that was kind of outside of Tony's you know wants at the time but now he's exactly where he needs to be he won himself grandfather clock now all four drivers for Hendrick Motorsports today have won at Martinsville Speedway they've all four won a grandfather clock at this point and congratulations to Kyle Lars and his team but Ryan Priest I just got to stress he proved exactly why he is a NASCAR Cup Series driver yesterday. He will get another opportunity. And as a NASCAR fan, I like to see what I'm seeing out of Ryan Priest. So, you know, while he come up short, he definitely showed why he belongs here. So congratulations to Ryan Priest on a good sign for the future yesterday. Looking forward to seeing what happens with him next. But as for the car owner, Tony Stewart, we got to talk about him a little bit too. Tony Stewart, and I said this for a while, he may go down as probably the best 
all around motorsports driver of this generation. And, you know, we know his stats in NASCAR. He's a three time winner of the NASCAR Cup Series. He is a one time IndyCar champion back in 1997. And he has won several titles in other capacities, such as USAC Silver Crown, midget car racing, and sprint car racing over the course of his racing career. Tony Stewart now, you know, he's won many races in late model races. He's won several races in sprint cars. He's won the SRX championship and SRX races. He's won uh, IROC championship and IROC races. Now he can mark off another victory into his career. He is a top fuel dragster winner in the NHRA. He won this weekend on the four wide nationals at Las Vegas. And if you haven't heard about that, you need to go check it out. Because this is just a huge moment in the career of Tony Stewart. There's three, there's four. There's a green light start. Watch the scoreboards and guess what? Tony Stewart is an NHRA national event winner. He goes 532 and wins it. Last year, he lost by two ten thousandths of a second. This year, he won by three ten thousandths of a second. Margin of victory, point zero, 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 three. And Tony Stewart is a national event winner in the National Hot Rod Association. You know, yes, he's he's gotten with uh, his, his, his new wife, and she is a great drag racer in and of herself. But those two together have been diving into the world of NHRA together. And now Tony, he's been driving over there. And it's just amazing to see Tony Stewart literally do almost everything there is to do in the world of racing. I'd, I'd love to see a scenario where he could come back and win a Daytona 500, but I think those days have come and passed us there, but he is still doing a lot in his motorsports career. You know, we've even seen him several times this year as a Fox commentator. So he's, he's balancing a ton in his life, you know, with all the different racing he still does today, plus car ownership, him, and Kevin Harvick management, they've got a great eye for talent. Ultimately, they're who helped get Ryan Priest into this deal. And, you know, in a time where it feels like we've talked kind of negative about Stuart Haas racing a little bit, it's good to have a day where we can talk positive about them as an organization because Ryan Priest showed true potential. Eric Almirola hung in the top 10. Really, all our drivers did well this weekend. And Tony Stewart getting the win in NHRA, that's a big deal for uh, Tony Stewart and his whole organization. So it's good to see that moving in a positive direction. And we'll just have to wait and see uh, if they can keep carrying this good momentum for all that they have this upcoming season. But that's all I got for today. Hope you guys are having a great start to your week. And uh, until next time, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more daily NASCAR talk here Monday through Friday. And until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching this video from Day to Be Talks. If you're new to my channel, make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you'll never miss another new video here on Day to Be Talks. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.